Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. Third time's the charm for NASA's moon rocket after a series of delays. It is finally flying to the moon and back with the future of human space travel on the line. Christian Benavidez is at the Kennedy Space Center with new reaction from overnight and what happens next in this historic journey. And liftoff of Artemis 1. A successful liftoff for NASA's most powerful rocket. It's like the first moon launch in 50 years, right? So. That's like historical. The Artemis 1 mission finally launched after eight months of back and forth from its launch pad. It was delayed by two hurricanes and numerous technical issues, including hydrogen leaks. New leaks showed up Tuesday night just before the launch window opened, and a group of NASA technicians known as the Red Crew were sent onto the launch pad to assess and fix the leak. My heart was pumping. My nerves were going, but... Yeah, we showed up today. The rocket has sent the Orion capsule with no astronauts on board on a journey around the moon. In 25 days, it's expected to splash down in the Pacific. The Artemis 1 mission is an important step in NASA's efforts to eventually carry astronauts back to the moon by 2025, 50 years after the Apollo program ended. We are stressing it and testing it to make it as safe as possible as reliable as possible for when our astronauts crawl on board and go back to the moon. The price tag for this mission, more than $4 billion. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Kennedy Space Center. Orion is expected to log roughly 1.3 million miles, the greatest distance for any spacecraft designed for human flight. The ultimate goal from the Artemis moon missions is to eventually send a crew to Mars. Mm.